All right, welcome back to Ashley's Alley. Here we are on number one. Really nice tee shot, second shot, mm, not so good. So I'm here in the waste area, next to the green on one, probably got a 20 yard shot. Often the sand in these waste areas can become very compacted, very hard. So it's hard to take a divot like a normal bunker shot. So a couple of things to help you out here. Usually I hit my 56 degree sand wedge. It has 12 degrees of bounce on it. That helps me in a normal bunker, not dig in too deep. So the first thing, if you have one, go ahead and take your lob wedge. Usually got less bounce. This one only has 10 degrees. If you don't, no worries. So here we are, 12 degree bounce sand wedge. What I'm trying to do is get rid of the bounce. So you might be able to see that. So I'm actually gonna slightly close this club face. Not open it like a normal bunker shot, but slightly close it. Other than that, everything's very similar to a bunker shot. Except now, obviously, I can ground my club. I'm in a waste area. Ball a little bit forward in my stance. Weight a little bit forward. Slightly close that club face. Then the, just the good upright swing of a bunker shot. So let's see if it actually works. About an inch behind, no more than that because it'll bounce into the ball and good healthy swing. All right, that's the idea. Might not have hit that quite perfect. It went a little far this time. The first take was perfect, except I forgot to do a few things. So here we are on number one, not much of a lip. Similar thing on four though, much bigger lip on four. You gotta go up to that elevated green. Really do everything the same, slightly close that club face but really exaggerate how upright that swing is. Really pick that club straight up in the air. The more upright your swing is, the more upright the ball goes. So hope that helped. Have a great week and I'll see you all soon. Thank you.